Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 3.3 from Sadigu book. So the question is we need to find V and I from this circuit. Okay, maybe let's start by choosing our ground. I choose it to be the bottommost node here. So I will have the voltage here will equal to zero. Okay, we have two essential nodes here, here and here. Between those nodes, we have a voltage source. So we need to use a super node. Just assume that this is a very big node. Okay. Maybe let's name this a super node. Super node. And inside them, there are two nodes. So I will have V1 here and v2 here okay and remember if we have a voltage source the difference between its nodes will be v2 minus v1 so i will have v2 minus v1 is equal to 6 okay let's keep this in mind as the equation number one okay and now we need to do KCL at the super node. Maybe we need to assume the direction of the current. So I will have here going to the right. This is going down. This is going down. And this is also going down. Okay, let's write KCL at the super node. KCL at super node. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. We have one current that goes in, which is here, but here we have 14 volt from the ground. So I will have 14 minus P1 here divided by the resistance between them, which is 4. And now all the currents remaining are going out so i will have equal sign here and this current here i will have v1 minus 0 divided by 3 v1 minus 0 divided by 3 and then this current here i will have v2 minus 2 v2 minus 0 sorry divided by 2 v2 minus 0 divided by 2 and then this current here i will have v2 minus 0 divided by 6 okay maybe we can multiply both sides by 12 to get rid of the denominator so i will have 3 will cancel 3 from 4 and 12 cancel. So I will have 14 multiplied by 3. That is 42. Minus 3 V1. And then V1 minus 0 will cancel out into V1. But here 3 and 12 will cancel into 4. So I will have 4 V1. And then V2 minus 0 is V2. But 2 and 12 will cancel into 6. So I will have 6 V2. And then this one, according to the same game, so I will have 2 V2. Okay, now what else can we do? Maybe we move this minus 3 V1 to the right hand side. So I will have 42 is equal to 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 V1. And then this one will be 8 V2. Or I can move this 42 to the right hand side. So I will have two equations with two variables. So this is equation one and this is equation two. What can we do? We just put it into matrix and we later put it into calculator. So from this one, I will have minus one and one. And then this one, I will have seven and eight. So I have V1 and V2. Okay, maybe 
so if you are confused it is from this this is equivalent from minus v1 plus v2 is equal to 6. so on the right hand side of this matrix i will have 6 and 42. okay this will we can solve this using calculator so we will get v1 and v2 let's do that okay set up your calculator as equation solver and we need to solve two variables so i will have minus one and then one and then six and then seven eight and 42. so i will have x is equal to minus two over five or minus 0 0.4 so this one minus 0 0.4 volt and then what is v2 v2 will be 5.6 volt 5.6 volt but the question is not v1 and v2 so i will have v is equal to v1 from the circuit which is minus 0 0.4 volt and then that will equal to minus 400 millivolt so this is for the v we'll have that as our answer and what what is the value of i i is here so we can calculate that by using ohm's law so i will have i is equal to v2 minus zero divided by the resistance between them v2 is 5.6 minus 0 it's still 5.6 divided by 2 so i will have this one is equal to 2.8 and the unit will be ampere so in conclusion we will have i is equal to 2.8 ampere which is the same as the answer given in the examples so i think we did not make any mistakes in the calculation and see you in the next video bye bye